Hi there, I'm Steve Kelly. Today I'm at Rutland Water. It's bleak, it's miserable and it's bloody freezing, but there's some big fish to be had here. Rainbows and brownies. Um, the brownies are out of season, so we're going completely and utterly barbless today. Uh, it's had a bit of pressure, there's fish there to be caught, so let's see how we get on and catch them. We'll try, um, we'll try boobies first. We'll, we'll fish that in a second line, but we'll fish them quite high up in the water. The wind's kind of in my face, I'd like to fish a floating line, but I don't think we'll get away with that today. We can try it, but we'll start off with the sinker, so let's go ahead and get set up. Okay, so my approach today, um, quite often when I'm fishing for fly feeders, there's two, there's two areas of approach. You either go deep for them, when they're not showing, or you can fish on the surface. Because there's no fish showing just now, um, and it's quite it's quite windy. I want to fish my flies with some control, so I'm going to use a sinking line. And what I've got is I've got a, a sort of medium to fast sinking type five, five inches a second. And I've got quite a long leader. Now I fish two flies, there's a reason for that. I'll have one fly six foot off the end of the fly line, and I'll have another maybe ten foot above it. And the reason for that is the fish will cruise at different depths. You've got some of the bigger fish that will come up from underneath the fish and they'll hit it from below. And you've got the ones further above, they're higher in the water. What they'll do is they'll mop up the scraps. So two flies, contrasting colours. I always prefer to fish contrasting colours. The two that I'll fish today are they're both boobies and they're both tied on barbless hooks. This one's like a, a white rabbit. Um, lots of silver flash in there, obviously, to catch any light that's there. Although there's not much of it today, it has to be said. Fine with colour earlier on in the season, but I find it this time of year black and white's your best approach. So, nice strong leader, 12 pound we've got here, we're not messing, 12 pound fluorocarbon. Let's see how we can get on, see if we can catch one of these big fly feet. Well, what a day, as you can probably gather by my raised voice and the wind gusting round about my head, it's been wild, it really has. 
The sport's been quiet at times, but that's to be expected with fry feeding fish. You'll go an hour, two hours without not even a sniff. But if you know the fish is here, persevere. Same as what we did today, and we got them in the end. A slow sink line or a fast sink line and some buoyant flies, just to keep those flies just above the weed, where the fish are patrolling. We've had some crackers today. The accident time has been fast and furious. If you want some fry feeding action, get yourself a big reservoir. Get the fry patterns on, have a bit of patience, and you never know, you might catch that fish of a lifetime.